The Comanchero Bikey Gang has gone on a recruitment drive in Western Sydney, signing up about 30 new members, according to Underworld sources. Most of the new nominee members are Young Islanders, Afghana and African men from the Blacktown area. It is believed the Comanchero decided to bolster its base after its ranks were negation depleted following the recent arrests of a number of members during an NSW police negation operation targeting outlaw motorcycle gangs. But rival gang the Nomads have been forced to take their recruiting drives interstate and even overseas because of NSW police scrutiny. It comes as the Nomads national president Sleeman Tajder was released after two years behind bars. Senior NSW police would not comment on specific bikey chapters but said it was not unusual to see gangs periodically try to boost their numbers. The Comanchero have and will continue to be a target for as long as they continue to do criminal activity, the officer said. Bikey gangs live off intimidation and if they have larger numbers than rival MC groups they can then flex their so-called muscle. We have seen it with the rebels years ago which had massive numbers nationally and also the banditos in Sydney for a while. These gangs like to target vulnerable young men especially from immigrant populations. Over recent months Strike Force Raptor made significant inroads into the Nomads, considered one of the most violent gangs in southwest Sydney. The crackdown continued during a week-long operation targeting outlaw motorcycle gangs last week in which a 26-year-old man was handed a firearms prohibition order after a stun gun and cannabis was allegedly found at his Riverwood house. With their ranks under constant pressure from police and NSW, bikey sources said the nomads have turned to Victoria, Perth and even Indonesia to keep up their membership. A whole heap of Mongols have joined them in Victoria, Mongols President Toby Mitchell must be having a heart attack, the source said. They've patched over four Bandidos chapters and the Finks in Bali and in Perth. In the absence of Tajir there have been a number of people who have tried to resurrect the once prominent gang without success. But the club's biggest issue, a leadership vacuum, looks set to remain for some time to come. Tajjer, the cousin of John Ibrahim, may be out of jail but is understood to be laying low while on parole. While it remains to be seen if he will once again become active with his old club.